guys, Megan here. I heard you're in a winter wonderland in the northeast over there. My dad was just telling me how it's covered with snow and ice and it's dreadful and cold. So I thought today we would make something to warm you all up and we're gonna be making a raw vegan chili that is low fat and doesn't have any harsh spices in it, but it's really delicious. For the chunky tomato chili, you will need two cups of chopped tomato, a half a cup of chopped red pepper, a half a cup of fresh squeezed orange juice, half a cup of chopped scallions, one fourth cup of sun-dried tomatoes, 12 leaves of fresh oregano, eight leaves of fresh sage, one date, and a fourth of an avocado. You will also need one cup of mushrooms and one cup of tomatoes chopped finely in your food processor to add in later. All right, who's ready to make some raw vegan chili? What I have here is my pre-chopped mushrooms and tomatoes. I also had some zucchini and red pepper in the fridge, so I threw that in there. And this one has some avocado for my Joey B because he's a growing boy. So we're just gonna go ahead and put that over here for right now. And we'll add the sauce in later. I'm gonna just use your blender and we're gonna throw in all of our ingredients. You wanna start with the um, larger portions first, tomatoes, red pepper, and all that. And then we're gonna do the spices and avocado. So we have fresh squeezed orange juice here I always suggest using fresh. It's so much better. Don't buy the stuff from the grocery store because that's gross and it's been sitting in the plastic for so long. We actually had a fruit party here last week. We had about 35 people and one of our friends who came to the fruit party brought us a whole case of oranges. So thank you, Jamil. It was amazing. They were super delicious. Uh, there were also like tangelos, um, AZ sweets, and like little tangerines. So now we're just going to add in our sun dried tomato, our spices, oregano, and sage, scallions, and our date. And we have a fourth of an avocado. You can always make it with or without avocado if you want to go super low fat. And then we're just gonna blend it until it's nice and creamy. You don't need to add any water to this because the orange juice gives you enough liquid and then the tomatoes turn into liquid. So we're gonna go ahead and blend it up. You always wanna start on low so you don't scare yourself and then turn it up. <laughs> okay, looks perfect. Let's smell it. Mmm, yum, can you smell that? Probably not, but it smells really good. All right, we're just going to split this evenly. There's one cup of chopped vegetables in each bowl, so we'll just try and spread this out evenly. Uh-oh, Joey B has more. <laughs> so, also, I don't know if you guys have watched my other video yet. I am in a contest called Hot Raw Chef. And the last day for voting is Wednesday the 9th. And I need you guys to all watch my video for strawberry filled brownie bites and go to Hot Raw Chef and vote for me. I'm number 23. It's very easy. All you have to do is enter your name, zip code, email address. You go to the next page, you pick Megan Elizabeth McDonald, number 23, and then hit vote. So I'm just gonna mix up our chili here. And that is it. So I'll give it a taste and we'll see how it is. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's like super chunky and creamy and delicious and flavorful. And the, the sage and oregano really, really pops in there. So thank you guys for watching. And please leave me comments of more videos that you would like to see, and I will try and make them. All right, take care.